Okay, in my first of several videos on the synapse and um, the different factors associated with neurotransmitter release, um, I'm going to draw and label the parts of a synapse. Now again, this can get extremely detailed. I'm not going to be that detailed because I don't think you need it at this level. What you need is intuition, an intuitive understanding of what the synapse is, what the parts are. So that's exactly what I'm going to draw. And I'm no artist, but I'm going to try my best. Okay? I'm going to draw it the way I drew it on my exams. So here we go. We have something like this. And something like this. And I'm going to explain what each of these parts are in one second. I just want to get a preliminary uh, drawing down here so that people can kind of get an idea of what's going on. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little action potential over here. So, and I'm going to label that action potential. Okay, so there's my action potential. I have some action potential um, occur here. Now this part right here, this is known as the axon. Okay, so that's your axon. And this entire thing here, this entire um, structure here, is what's known as a presynaptic terminal. So this is a presynaptic terminal. Okay. And this section over here, I'm just drawing it kind of as a flat sheet. I mean, you could draw it different ways. But this is what's going to be known as the post synaptic potential. <coughs> okay, and what these are here, these right here, are receptors. So these are the receptors, okay? And this section right in here, so all this in here, this space in here, is what's known as a synaptic cleft. Okay. So it's a synaptic cleft. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to draw on here for my sort of rudimentary drawing of the synaptic, postsynaptic, and presynaptic um, terminals is vesicles. So these vesicles here are, are what's known as, you might have guessed it, synaptic vesicles, okay? So those are synaptic vesicles with neurotransmitter. So essentially the synaptic vesicles is, what's con is what contains the neurotransmitter. So I think that's about all I would label in a case like this. It's a very rudimentary drawing, but it's it, it's effective. Okay, have it, some action potential occurs. Here's our axon. Here's our um, synaptic vesicles with neurotransmitter. This, is a, this whole section over here, this whole thing, is known as a presynaptic terminal. We have receptors on the postsynaptic terminal, and the neurotransmitter that releases from the vesicles gets released inside this synaptic cleft. Okay, and then the neurotransmitter binds with the receptors, okay, and this induces some sort of um, excitatory postsynaptic potential, inhibitory postsynaptic potential, etc. Okay, so that's the general drawing.